One of the great things about skiing is that quite often you're rolling down into new terrain that you've never experienced before and you really are relying upon intuition. Sometimes you roll into a blind rollover and you have no idea what's on the backside and you're really at that moment, you're totally trusting your gut and your instinct that it's gonna be okay. And that is a pretty rare experience that you don't really get to do very often in life. I've been a professional skier for 20 years now and I think what's allowed me to grow as a skier from a grommet hemlock valley to what I'm doing now is that throughout the whole process, I've always been a passionate dreamer and always looking forward to trying something new, whether it's just going a little bit faster or skiing a spine line for the first time. There's so many different aspects and elements to skiing that always keep it new and exciting for me and that's what really drives me is trying something new and with that force myself to learn something new so that I can achieve that goal. Mount Garibaldi sits in a park and so with that it means you can't access it with a helicopter or with a snowmobile and it has to be accessed by human power and so that's been one limitation from me getting on top and I think just with how I'm growing and evolving and looking at skiing now it's part of the allure with wanting to go there is just to get there by human power and push myself that way. It's pretty hard actually the more I look at it the more scared I get actually with the reality of putting myself on the peak of that thing. The last, call it 500 feet, looks really steep. So living off grid is something that I've always been really passionate about. By having the dome on the island where there's no power, it's really forced me to become more in tune with how to create solar power and wind power efficiently. There's all these new outlets that are allowing us to live a little bit simpler and that's really the way I'm trying to live my life and I'm not perfect at that but I'm doing my best to, to minimize my impact and, and that's just another way that I'm learning more about myself and more about the environment and learning more about technology and it's just a, another exciting thing to learn about. So the reason I got involved with eSmarter is because I'm always trying to figure out what I can do to enhance my neural connectivity and my mental capacity for, for life and for skiing. And the fact that eSmarter is a technology that I can just slide on over my wrist and have that be able to tap me into myself and into what I'm doing is a really exciting technology for me. The great thing about this project is the fact that I'm able to wake up in the morning in my bed, make breakfast, hop on my bike, pedal up the road to snow line, strap on my skis, ski tour, and then boot pack. All within a day or two, doing it all with two feet and a heartbeat. And it's pretty cool, now that I'm spending more and more time looking at it, I'm actually able to start mapping out my approach. And the more time I'm looking at it, the more and more feasible it's, it's coming to me. Sometimes when I look at it, it looks totally unattainable, but I'm feeling a lot more confident about it today than I did yesterday even. One of the reasons I'm stoked to do this trip is because I can do it solely human powered with going from sea level to 8,000 feet, which is gonna be a challenge in itself. I'm gonna be traveling a lot of ground where there's gonna be exposure to crevasses and potential avalanche risk. I think the, the big potential challenge could be that last pitch of getting up to the peak. Just because I don't really know what the conditions are going to be like and how deep the snow is going to be or how tired I'll be. So I think that's what I'm preparing myself for is just having enough energy and being just calm and collected so that I can push through 
and get to that point where I'm standing on top of that peak. I've been training really hard the last month and I've definitely been going through some mental challenges, getting my conditioning up to what I feel is a good level. I'm doing conditioning training, so I'm pushing myself as hard as I can go nearly to the point of puking just to build up my lactic threshold so that when that day comes where I'm putting in a super long day, my body's gonna be conditioned and ready for, for that endurance. Throughout the latter half of my ski career, I've been focused on going out to film, hitting cliffs, jumps, and skiing the, these radical lines. Whereas skiing Mount Garibaldi, it's, it's a different objective for me. It's about pushing myself mentally and physically to take myself from sea level to 8,000 feet and ski down this huge mountain that I've been looking at for, for the last 20 years. And it's not so much about skiing as fast or as gnarly as, as possible. It's really about getting up there efficiently and safely and then skiing down in a, uh, in a safe and fun manner. So the cedar slab under the butt is the key. <laughs>